Remember When, a miraculous ladybug fanfiction written and narrated by Mira Rose. Artwork by Jade Carol 18 on Instagram. You can find a link to Jade's Instagram in the description box below. If you haven't already, don't forget to not only subscribe to this channel, but give this video a big thumbs up, woohoo, and leave a comment to support the YouTube algorithm. If you don't know what to comment, put Christmas Lights Kitty or Christmas Tree Kitty, whichever you prefer. Now then, please enjoy Remember When, a Miraculous Ladybug fanfiction. Marinette Dupang Chang. Marinette doubled over in laughter as her dumb cat boyfriend wrapped himself in Christmas lights while trying to untangle them. This is your fault, you know, she laughed. I know, I know, I should have put them away properly last year, Cat Noir sighed, plopping down crisscross applesauce in defeat as she continued to chuckle. Hey, make a wish. Before she could question it, Adrian grabbed the tree star and balanced it atop his head. Wow, and here I thought you'd try for mistletoe. Hey now, my mistletoe is a holiday classic, but its powers have weakened. Because you've beaten that pun to death? No, because I don't need to rely on tricks or magic to get kisses. Cat leaned in halfway, and she returned the gesture. Come on, Marinette said. You should detransform before my parents get home. What, you don't want them to find out your boyfriend is a part-time superhero? I don't want my dad to feel like we tricked him after you formally turned Marinette down while wearing a mask. Oh, yeah. Best to avoid that bit. Think we'll ever tell him? Huh? Marinette shifted her weight as she leaned back, her squat plopping her bottom onto the floor. Think we'll ever tell our parents we were superheroes. Oof. It was clear that wouldn't go over well for him. Uh, that's more of a nightmare than a daydream. Fair enough. Even with a year of dating under their belts, Marinette didn't have a good grasp on the dynamic in Adrian's household. Just when she thought she'd figured it out, it would change again. No wonder he spent most of his time here. While it was kind of annoying at first that he seemed to favor hanging out with her parents as a family instead of just the two of them, she understood him better now. She was the whole package, and although he was dating her for her, he was at his happiest as an adopted son in her parents' home. Well, in-law. Adopted as different connotations. Kat detransformed just in time to hear her parents on the stairs. Talk about good timing. Hey mom, hey dad. Adrian greeted them with a smile, standing up with what was most likely the intention of helping, but instead toppling over a box that had Christmas decorations. Oops. Clearly he'd forgotten about the lights strewn across his body. Here... Marinette laughed, helping him unwrap the mess he found himself in. Reminds me of that photo Alia gave us last year, her mother teased. She saw pink on her boyfriend's cheeks and knew it wasn't from the lights. Come on, she laughed. Spin! Adrian clearly had a bit too much fun pretending to be a ballerina as she held the string of lights to straighten them out. But eventually, he broke free of the seasonal bonds and helped hang them around the room. With the background complete, Marinette gathered up the harvest throw pillows as he pulled out the Christmas ones from storage. Oh, hold on a second, Adrian said. He went to the bag he brought with them and pulled out the ornament they bought together last year. What? No! Put that away! Marinette insisted. That's for your tree, remember? I spend more time over here now, so... He looked away with a shrug, clearly fishing for her permission. Come to think of it, we haven't gone ornament shopping yet, have we? We're going again? 
It's not much of a tradition if we don't keep doing it. Now is it? Fair. Fair. He shrugged as she shot him a wink. So, uh, when? When? Ornament shopping. I suppose we should figure that out, shouldn't we? Or random? Tell you what, she said. After the next Akuma fight, we'll go together. Really? What started as a ladybug and cat noir tradition should stay that way, don't you think? We can find a tradition for the two of us, boyfriend and girlfriend, outside of that. Wait a minute. Adrian crossed his arms. You're saying ladybug and cat noir aren't dating? She laughed before shooting him a wink. I guess we'll have to check the lady blog for that scandal. I remember when you kissing Cat Noir was a scandal. I think you mean when Ladybug kissed Cat Noir, silly. Ah, yes, he sighed. Ladybug. I should have done it sooner. Kiss me? Yes, you should have. I mean, it's not like I literally begged you to. No, no, I meant gone public. I know it gave you a lot of anxiety. You mean between us dating and letting the public know we were a couple? Yeah. He sighed, long and slow through his nostrils. Well, I also didn't speak up about it, so don't shoulder all the blame. Communication is both our strongest and weakest point, isn't it? You got that right. Adrian's gaze softened as she smiled back at him. What? Her question escaped with a nervous chuckle. Thank you. For? The fact that we can have remember whens means a lot to me. Oh. Marinette reached over and squeezed his hand painting a soft smile on her face to hide the pity she discovered for him over the past year. Of course. We should, uh, we should finish up before dinner, don't you think? Good thing we're almost done. Marinette turned back to the box of ornaments and pulled out one she made when she was six. Yeah, good thing. And with that gentle mood between them, Marinette decorated her family's home with her boyfriend before heading out to continue a now yearly Christmas tradition of buying an ornament together. Although, they took care of an unexpected Akuma first. And for those wondering, Ladybug picked out a Starbucks ornament for Cat Noir. And he, in turn, picked out an exclusive Cat Noir ornament. Sounds about right. Thank you so much for listening. If you are still listening, uh, comment either Starbucks ornament or Cat Noir ornament in the comment section below to help the YouTube algorithm. You can catch other videos on this channel, including this next one. Now then, uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.